Hey guys, I do myself here, and today I want to talk to you guys about battery life in iOS 11. Battery life has been one of my biggest complaints with an iOS 11, and judging by some of the comments in my videos, it's been one of your biggest complaints as well. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to preserve that battery life on the latest betas of iOS 11, and if you're watching this video in the future, once iOS 11 is officially rolled out to the public, this is going to help you as well. So let's begin. First, I want to go ahead and tackle some of the simplest things to keep in mind. If you have AirDrop enabled, turn it off. This is constantly tracking other devices to airdrop things. AirPlay, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi. If you're out and about, you don't need those as you're out and about. Turn those off. Those are constantly tracking your surroundings in order to provide the best service so they do drain your battery. Now going into settings here, I want to jump over to some of the most important options that a lot of people miss. Going to general in-app background refresh. Now you have the option for these applications to refresh in the background when connected only to Wi-Fi or both Wi-Fi and cellular data. So if you turn those off as I have it here, all of these applications will not refresh preserving battery life as it states there by Apple. So this will help preserve the battery life. Your app is not going to be constantly refreshing something like Facebook or anything like that. It's not going to be refreshing constantly so it preserves the battery on your iPhone. Another thing that I did want to point out if you don't have a Mac computer or other devices that you want to hand off tasks to, you can turn off handoff. This feature is constantly tracking Mac and other devices that are Apple iOS devices connected to your iCloud to hand off those tasks. So if I'm using Safari on my iPhone, it's constantly looking for other iPads and Macs to just kind of continue that task on that other device. Turning off handoff definitely improve the battery performance on your device. If you go into the cellular option here and scroll all the way down, you want to make sure that right here where it says iCloud Drive, as you can see here stated by this option, when not connected to Wi-Fi, you Use the cellular network to transfer documents and data. So even if you're connected to Wi-Fi or not, this option will be transferring files to your iCloud Drive to keep them updated. But at the same time, it's going to waste your battery and your data. So usually when you're home, you're connected to a power source. So if you disable it, it will only do it when you're connected to Wi-Fi, improving the user experience and also improving battery performance. Next thing I want to talk about is photos. Now these options, I hardly ever use the cloud for photos. My photos Photo stream, I don't really use uh, iCloud photo sharing. I don't use these things, especially the cellular data option here. This option, if you toggle this off, it won't be transferring your photos to your photo stream or anything like that or your iCloud photo sharing while being on your data connection only when you're connected to Wi-Fi. And again, usually when you're connected to Wi-Fi, you're at home, you have a power source, but I would recommend cellular data be turned off unless you want those photos to be transferred over the air using the network connection. Photo stream I usually keep off because it's constantly tracking the cloud to bring all those photos to my photo stream. I only turn those on specifically when I want to and transfer photos on my own at home at my convenience. And a few other options I want to point out under the batteries tab right here you have the breakdown on what's using your battery life the most including applications and activities. Right here you have suggestions so if you don't have auto lock enabled you can enable that. It's going to preserve your battery life as well. Now I wanted to point out under the privacy tab and location services right here let's say the App Store only use while in use of the application but there's certain applications that give you the option to always if it's ticked to always I recommend while in use because then the application will only use the location services while you're using the application not all the time they're draining your battery taking a look here at iTunes and App Store right here you have your automatic downloads it's constantly tracking the App Store the iTunes Store and the Apple Music to download the latest versions of your music applications books audiobooks and updates for your applications I turn all those off because they're constantly being updated. Now, a lot of people enjoy those updates. They don't have to go do them themselves. I just do them whenever I feel like I want to do them when I'm at home and uh, catching up with some stuff. Uh, you know, just update my applications if I feel like I want to. And also this option here using uh, cellular data to access those downloads as well. It's going to consume your data, consume your battery. It's going to automatically update your applications. Therefore, taking your data, taking your battery. Here under privacy, there's a lot of important options that I want to talk about especially here under analytics right here is everything that's sent to Apple whether you know it or not in some cases a lot of people don't really know right here improve uh, all these improvements to share iCloud analytics this is going to help Apple and developers uh, see what's going on 
with their applications with the software and this is sent automatically without you knowing and then Apple can go ahead and fix those issues in order to give you a better user experience jumping over to the uh, location services options here now this option here is a very very picky because you have to know exactly which ones to turn off of course you don't want the find my iPhone option turned off you want to keep that on in case you lose your device but location based alerts that's gonna be like Amber alerts or emergency alerts for weather things like that I turn that off location based Apple ads I don't use that so I don't want it location based suggestions so that's gonna be in the App Store or other applications that give you suggestions based on your location uh, down here product improvement again another way of Apple improving the service but at the same time iPhone analytics popular near me traffic and route updates if you don't use Apple Maps and you use Google Maps or something else you really don't need that and last but not least frequent locations I always turn this off it's tracking your location it's sharing your location the whole time and I don't use that I feel really really uncomfortable but anyway guys those are some of my tips on how to preserve the battery in iOS 11 I think it's, it's very important to keep in mind all of these options do have their pros and cons so before you do deactivate them just make sure you really don't use them, but a lot of these are going to be very helpful to improve the battery on your iOS device. And if you found this video helpful and enjoyed it, don't forget to click that like button. Much more videos coming your way. Be sure to stay tuned. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys real soon. Peace.